Oh boy. I don't even know where to start right now. I feel like I'm being tested. Like I'm at a crossroads where the choices I make are either gonna break me in half or maybe be a dream come true. <laughs> I've been on this island since January, and we're getting close to the end of October. And since February, I've been dealing with a single person who, it's been up and down, and so many difficulties. This is someone that, when I was here before, I really had a lot of feelings for, but not a lot of bravery to do anything about it. And then I got back this year, and they're not really the same person that I was friends with before. They've been broken by people different situations, relationships, employment even situations with those kind of people letting them down. And so we were just friends. Because that's all they wanted. But then of course I had my feelings. And when things started changing and we became more involved with each other, I really thought that they had feelings involved with me as well. But then... I started noticing that whenever I was having a really hard time, if I ran out of money, which also means I ran out of food and, you know, other things that you need to get along in your life, this person would disappear after causing a big scene, throwing around a bunch of hurtful words. Leaving me in a bind without a means to take care of myself after depleting my resources, sharing with them. So I walked away about two, uh, it was two and a half months ago, I walked away, completely walked away. And I decided, like, I. Like, it was like my guides were screaming at me, you know, like, this is enough, enough is enough. All they do is tear you up. They're not really contributing anything to your life. They are certainly not loving you in any way that you can feel or see. It was just the occasional knee from them. They needed the occasional 15 or 20 minutes. If you know what I mean. And so. I started healing my heart. Or thought I was. I thought I was. I started trying to look at life. Like okay so this isn't. I can't do this. So what am I supposed to do next? What should I do? And in the beginning of that split, a friend of mine who I had also met around the same time back in 2019 kind of stepped up and said, you know, I'm here if you need anything. I know 
things are really hard since you've had to live in your truck like you can stay at my house if you want there's hot shower you can do laundry cook food so I um, I did start depending on them quite a bit I stayed there at first for like I stayed there all the time just to keep myself away from the situation that I knew was toxic for me well then little by little like I have allergies to things and it just got to where I couldn't be in the house especially overnight like I just couldn't sleep well with the asthma kicking up the way it did and stuff so I would sleep in my truck and then still go up there you know during the day and do the things and um, I was kind of doing some stuff like helping out around the house working and on um, some projects making a little bit of money from my friend who had various different projects going on and then um, my friend started pushing me for more than friendship and I had already heard from some other mutual friends that this person had stated that if I were to return to that toxic person that they would not help me anymore so I really felt like I I, I could not um, in any good conscience be in love with someone who number one wasn't treating me with love number two seemed to be using me for my resources and number three I was going to lose the only person that I had on this island who was supportive of my mission and found ways for me to earn money so that I could survive and then they turned it into they want a relationship with me and this person is married not a good marriage granted and there's some strange situations where they haven't even been living in the same house and this and that and the other and but the fact of the matter is that when the person they were married to decided they were coming back to here the island coming back to the house suddenly I had to get all my stuff out of the way pack it all up either in my truck or in the garage and I was allowed to put some stuff in storage there in the garage and this person made it out like it was only going to be for a couple of weeks they were going to talk to their spouse and explain you know the situation that I had been staying there and um it seems like since I haven't been in agreement to having a sexual relationship with this person they've completely cut off any friendship even let alone my income from doing the odd jobs or being able to wash clothes or have a hot shower or cook food so I'm basically just out here by myself not allowed to even be friends with the only person that I actually know well enough to ask for help outside of this other person So now here it is, it's the end of October and throughout the last few weeks there were times I had to depend on that toxic person that I had been in a relationship with in order just to eat a meal, just to have something hot that day to eat. I didn't have any money to buy groceries or anyone helping me with food like I previously did. And I had had some government assistance and I lost that because in all the chaos, I didn't even notice that uh, I had lost my benefits. 
I had enough help that I wasn't completely dependent on them and therefore for a few weeks I didn't even check my mail I didn't even think about going to the post office but anyway so now here I am and the toxic relationship that I was in has been so hard to let go of because I spent time with this person and I can see all the reasons I fell in love with them. But then I can also see all the reasons that it just can't work. And then the other night they tell me they don't want to let me go. They miss me all the time. They noticed that I got a phone call from someone that I was trying to talk to from a dating app. And this person doesn't even live here on this island, so it's long distance. And all it's been so far is texting and talking on the phone. But they saw a call come in from someone else and started treating me like crap for several days. And I had no idea why I was getting treated like this until last, like before last. So they tell me, you know, I saw that call come in and it pissed me off. And I guess it made them realize that they don't want me to be with anyone else. But at the same time, they don't want to be with me. They feel like the situation with everything going on right now, the finances and the house situation and everything, that it's not a good time to be in a relationship or anything like that, which it's probably the most stressful time in either one of our lives. But honestly, when I was not alone, when I was with them, at least during the good times, it was way easier being houseless. It was way easier struggling with someone than to be alone and struggle by yourself but basically what they did apologize for some of the mean stuff they had said and how they had been treating me but at the end of the night it left me with so much confusion because they're literally not offering me anything except a waiting period another waiting period to see if they get back on their feet if they could be a better bet in a better situation mentally, emotionally, financially, stability wise, if it would be a go in that circumstance between us. But so much of me feels like the only reason why they came forward now is because they're flat broke. They've run out of resources for the month. And I had just literally told them that I got some emergency food assistance and so I think that's the only reason why they've come forward and even said anything at all but I don't know for sure it's so confusing like my heart wants to believe them my heart wants to wait and see in one way but in another way it's tired and all the pain that they've put me through and over and over again the insecurity that it makes me feel dealing with them like I've literally been begging God for help I don't know which way to go I feel like I'm off path I've lost sight of what I'm doing here I'm not accomplishing anything I'm more soft than I've been in a really long time Financially, stability-wise, home-wise, friend-wise, all the people that care about me are a thousand something miles away across an ocean. <laughs> I feel so alone. I don't feel like I'm healing anyone except for my own self. Like. All I've had the strength to do is try to get over the traumas that have happened over and over since I got here. And I don't understand why God would bring me here for so much pain and 
heartache and misery, instability, chaos, loss of friends, finding out people who I thought were my friends are not my friends. They only want to use me for resources or they only want to be friends with me in hopes that uh, they can have more benefits than just friendship later on down the road. Otherwise, they don't want to be friends either. I'm so tired of people basing everything on what you look like. They're attracted to your face. They don't care about who you are. They don't care about your soul mission. They don't care. All they care about is what they want from you. I've met so many people. So many times I've been told, Oh, I feel like you're a gift from God in my life. And yet, they turn around and they treat me like garbage. Throw you to the side. Don't take it seriously. Don't treat me with the respect that, that I should just get just for being a human. Just for being here. Just basic decency. Consideration. I just don't want to be here like this. I didn't come here to be like this. I left behind everything I really knew. My entire safety zone my people, my family, because I thought this is what God had chosen for me to do, but then all that I'm here, it's been nothing but stumbling blocks and heartbreak after heartbreak and hunger and loneliness, deceptions, manipulations. I felt like I was guided to start this channel. But a lot of days I don't even know what to say. And the days when I do make a video, I have to be honest, by the time I get to the end of the video, I have no idea what I've just said. There's been a couple of times I went back and rewatched it and realized I could not post that. Because I don't want my business out there. And then I was told by spirit that someone needs to hear this stuff. Somebody needs to know the struggle I'm going through to help them with their struggle. That I need to be honest, shine the light even in the dark places, even in the uncomfortable places. And so this is my uncomfortable place. This is me shining the light on my pain and putting it out there. I really hope it finds someone. In the past, Before I grew into who I am, suicide was on my mind a lot. I just wanted to leave. All of it. The people. So many times it was family who hurt me worse than anyone. And I just felt like I did not belong here. And God has made it very clear. That the reason I am different and the reason I am here is because I am supposed to find the ones who are different too. The ones who struggle with just being here. Finding a place that's comfortable. Finding love that's real. In friendship. In relationship in familial relationships, not just love, sex. 
one thing my family taught me is that you're born into a group of people who need your light, but will deny it. And it's up to you to realize who you truly are and bring the light to whoever you can, but also be willing to walk away from those who can't walk in the light with you. And I know down at the base of it, I'm never alone. I have so many guides, ancestors, angels, whatever you want to call them. They're around me all the time in spirit. I can feel to a certain extent. So I know I'm never so alone that I should leave. I'm never unwatched or unheard. And I have a mission. I have a mission here. These times when I'm struggling with just surviving. I know I'm not the only one out there struggling to just survive. And I love to find your light. Figure out who you are. What you bring to the table. Stand up for your worth and your value regardless of how people treat you. Move past those people to find the ones who need you. Right now I'm struggling to find the ones who need me. In a true sense. I'm finding a lot of people willing to use me for what they, they will benefit from me. It's not a reciprocal relationship. And it ends up taking more from me than anyone should have to give just for basic needs to be met. So I'm going to leave the comments open on this video. Feel free to reach out to me. If you need someone to listen, I will listen. If you need someone to talk, I will talk. Just find me. Let me find you. Don't leave. <laughs>